going to be a short video. Uh, on this video, I'll try to show you how I achieve making the bushings you know, for that contract. Uh, the inside bore, just uh, one shot, just with the boring bar, one shot uh, with about, uh, I would say, half a thousand plus or minus tolerance and uh, getting like a pretty big. Uh, a pretty, a pretty big bore from it. I'm just having problems with the uh, focusing though, but it's just I hope it's gonna be easy doing on this. Uh, getting this is not a very complicated method. You can you can go and try like uh, you know just uh, approaching slowly or anything like that. But it was go it's gonna take at least three or four uh, cuts to achieve the same result. Um, I'll show you how I do it, and uh, if you like it, then you can use it. Okay. Uh, this has been bored with a, just a half-inch drill, so it's nothing, nothing very clean using the... Um, diameter from it. Like uh, 5.16, So it's a uh, drill bore. It's pretty, uh, it's, not a, it's not exactly what you could call a nice bore, but starting from there, we're going to do one first cut. Uh, I'll just kind of clean up the bore. I'm turning 1000 RPMs. Uh, advance per turn is 4000. Uh, 4000 of an inch. And uh, the boring bar is a 38 boring bar. It can bore like a little bit under, uh, little bit under half inch, but just about that. And uh, that's going to be just a cleaning cut. Just barely touching. I'm going to take maybe I don't know five, uh, five or ten thousand. I'm going to use the uh, advance and let it go to the end. It's really not taking much. Even if it scratches inside, I don't care. Stopping this. trying to get uh, the final diameter I want to get on this is 590, uh, let's say 593. So I'm going to take a cut. Uh, I'll make it 593. And uh, I'll see what I get. I won't get 593 because it's going to be a uh, spring in the boring bar. But let's go, let's go and do a cut. My, uh, they are always set at 524. Okay, I'm set 
the measurement. Just install the fresh lug. It's a 517, 516 internal diameter, fresh from the uh, fresh from the drill bit. And I'll set my uh, 
They are all 593.6, let's say. Start the machine. a scratch in it because there's a pressure on the uh, boring bar. You just turn in your uh, turn in your boring bar, about maybe 10,000. Come out and we'll measure. shot were one tenth under uh, over sorry the uh, let's say the goal so it's I think it's pretty good also another little uh, little thing you want to uh, consider when you buy those uh, telescopic gauges I highly suggest that you get let's say good Good, uh, good brands because the cheap ones I I try to work a few times with the cheap ones. Most of the smaller ones, uh, the rounds, the rounds on the ends are not they're not great. They're pretty bad, and you get pretty uh, pretty lousy measurements from them. Uh, these ones are Miki Toyo, and if you get Starrett, you get uh, I don't know exactly what other good brands, but I know Miki Toyo and Starrett are great. To use, they're very precise. They're, you know, they will repeat within a tenth of a thousand or more, or or better. And I think it's really worth the investment. And you know, if you don't have a very deep pocket, just go to uh, classifieds and just uh, let's say eBay. And in Canada, we got KGG, which is a, a great place to get those. Just be patient, watch, watch for good deals, and. Uh, they're 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 coming out just about every time because they're pretty uh, they're pretty expensive when they're brand new like uh, it's over a hundred and over a hundred maybe hundred fifty sixty dollars if not more for a set so okay that completes the uh, one step boring with an uh, high tolerance thank you for watching so uh, that was a quick tip. Okay, that's uh, the lad on for about just about the last one, and uh, just we'll make a measurement on it. And the last one needs about uh, about 50 done. about every five units I do. There's going to be a little degradation from the carbide because carbide in these conditions will wear. And uh, I've been compensating about uh, maybe near a thousand. Not exactly, but near a thousand. When I see that uh, I'm getting off by, uh, let's say, 
three, four, ten, so uh, so very close from that. To stay within my, let's say, I said that I was going to be staying within plus or uh, plus minus uh, five, ten thousandths of an inch. So when I see I'm getting close to the upper limits or the lower limits, I just change a little bit my adjustment to uh, make up for the wear of the uh, carbide uh, insert. And see, after 50 units, I'm sure there. Uh, Nothing, nothing further up from the uh, from the uh, upper and lower limits, farther than a half a tenth, and it's everything in one shot. So it's, uh, you know, it's, a, it's I take a fair method of do, method of doing something easy and uh, not overworking. And also one thing that uh, you have to know: uh, be aware that if you change the speed, if you change the feed, you change anything in the parameters, uh, this becomes not true. So once you're adjusted for one speed and one feed, you, s you stick to that uh, that setup because uh, you change, you have to redo your uh, compensation and uh, redo your setup. But. Uh, if it helps you, I mean, I'm happy with that, and I'm going to keep on doing what I uh, have to do because the customer is waiting for his part, but hope it helps. See you next time.